I gained 60 pounds while pregnant and it was not pretty and it was not fun and I did not feel good. So let's get right into this video. Nine months, one baby, 60 pounds. 60 pounds, that is a lot of weight to gain while pregnant. That is a lot of weight trying to lose postpartum. And it has not been an easy journey. It has not been fun, but I'm just here to share my story with you guys to make everyone aware that it is normal, it is okay, and you will feel like yourself again. I promise you will feel like yourself again. While I was pregnant, I did not really eat junk food like that. I did not have many cravings. I think the most thing I craved while pregnant was 7-Eleven Slurpees, and it had to be either cherry or Coke. Had to be cherry or Coke, or else I was not. No. January 14th, 2022, I had a little baby boy. Uh, but you know, he, he made me gain a lot of weight, and I was not happy about it, especially since I've always been really small my whole life. I have fluctuated weight a lot my whole life because I'm not like one of those just naturally slim figured girls. Like, no, 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 that was not the case. That was never the case. Pre-pregnancy, I was weighing like 126. By the end of nine months, da da da, 186, 186. I, I wanted to cry. Every time I went to the doctor's office, and they make you get on the dang scale and you're like, oh man, like this number is just gonna make me sad. And and you know you're growing a baby, but it still makes you a little sad. And you're like, dang, like I don't want to see that number go up. But that last two months, eight and nine months, I think I gained like 20 pounds just in my eight month period. Like it was crazy. It was like, what just happened? Why did I just gain all this weight? Like. 60 pounds is a lot and to gain 20 in like the eighth month is insane because i was like gradually gaining the weight i was trying to eat really really good i wasn't eating bad but i still gained a lot of weight i wasn't eating fast food at night and i think unfortunately it, it really probably is genetics it probably is genetics which kind of blows yeah that just sucks the fact that I really did gain 60 pounds, but, but I have lost 50 cents. So yay me. Whoa, we've lost 50 cents and it has been a journey. It has been a journey. It has not been easy. It has been really, really hard. Just no weight gain during pregnancy is so, so normal. All the water weight, all the bloating, your breasts are getting bigger, your feet are swollen, your body is swollen. Everything is just getting larger. And unfortunately, most of us feel really bad. And I'm talking to the people where it did make you feel bad. Like, it made me feel bad. Like, I hated gaining weight. It really, really bothered me. Like, I tried really hard not to gain any weight during my pregnancy. It was like, you will not eat junk food. You will not eat um, late nights. You will not. I mean, every now and then I did. Come on, I'm a human being. All right. If I told you I never did, I'd be lying. But no, 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 I definitely did. But I just didn't do it all the time. Like it was like uh, maybe like every three weeks sort of thing. I'd be like, I want Burger King at three in the morning because I want Burger King at three in the morning. Okay, I'm pregnant. Let me have Burger King at three in the morning. But that was like a once in a month thing. Like I didn't do it often because I've always been kind of a gym rat. And I've always been trying to be very, very healthy because I just know my body like gains weight. Like I look at a cookie, 10 pounds instantly it is the most frustrating thing in the world like especially having two younger sisters where they just don't really gain weight like that like they can just eat whatever they want and i'm like oh you guys got the good genes i love you but oh i wish i had those genes but it is what it is but it's okay guys it's okay 60 pounds you, you'll get it off whatever weight you gain during pregnancy you will get it off it does super suck but it is what it is. So I'm going to try and help you guys and motivate you guys and just let you know that whatever weight you have gained during pregnancy, and if it is a lot, like me, 60 pounds, 
you will lose it, okay? And these last 10 pounds that I have to lose have been not the easiest to lose. But that's like normal. Trying to lose like those last few pounds, like your body is really trying to hold on to that fat. It will do whatever it wants and can to hold on to that fat. You just gotta, you just gotta trick your body. You, you're you you're gonna do just fine. Like I've just recently, like within the last three weeks, have started intermediate fasting and I really like it. Like most of the time I feel very hungry, but I feel pretty good. And I'm like, maybe this will help me get rid of these last 10 pounds and I will have to update you guys on that. But it is, it's not too bad. Like right now I haven't eaten anything since yesterday's dinner. And I'm like, I feel okay, I feel good. I feel like I have energy. Of course, I'm drinking water. I'm not really drinking coffee. I know some people will drink coffee. Uh, just water. Just water and I do lemon ginger shots. So that I make. Just squeeze some lemons, cut up some ginger, boil it. You got lemon shots. And I put it in the fridge. Um, and I'll take a shot of that in the morning. But as far as the weight gain in pregnancy, it was not, it made me pretty depressed. Okay, it was very sad. I did not like that especially when you get used to looking at yourself in a certain way it does definitely blow so just know that it'll be okay one thing that i did to lose 50 pounds in the last year that i've had my son my son was born last year in january it's now september so it's been over a year and a half and i've lost 50 pounds i lost 50 pounds like at the one and a half year mark um so in the summer july but these last 10 pounds have been really, really hard to lose. So that's why we're doing the intermediate fasting now. But the one thing I did was really try and stay consistent with whatever you are doing. Whatever you are doing, stay consistent. I go to the gym three to four times a week. Like I try and get in there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Thursdays are like my bonus days. Like if I'm really beat, like I don't really want to go to the gym or if I'm like you know what like I kind of want to just spend more time with my son I'm not going to go to the gym today try and stay consistent go to the gym you do not need to be some sort of professional in the gym to lose weight okay a lot of the baby weight is just water weight in your body going back to what it used to look like to an extent right it'll never go back to what it used to look like pre-baby unless you are very blessed and you have those genetics yay you i wish i was you okay unfortunately that was not me um and i feel like that's not the case for everybody so this is me just sharing my realistic experience with gaining 60 pounds pregnant y'all hear me 60 Woof. stay consistent at the gym or if you're not going to the gym, a home workout. Oh my gosh, I've been doing postpartum abdominal workouts for the last year and a half and they really do work. They really do work. Okay, so all the YouTube videos you're looking up for the abdominal videos, actually do them because they do work. It's going to take time for you to actually notice. Okay, it took me maybe like four months of being really consistent with it to be like, oh, your stomach really is shrinking, huh? Like, that's nice that's that like you're gonna feel good about it and be like wow like all right like i'm i really am losing the weight like this is great like i feel good like i'm happy um so stay consistent with whatever you're doing okay whether it's at the gym workouts or at home workouts it doesn't matter you're moving your body and it'll come off it'll come off like i was not in a rush to lose weight immediately but i also thought the whole time i was pregnant i'd bounce back and that's i guess me just being delusional yeah i was a little delusional okay i did not bounce back <laughs> and that's okay just know that that's okay if you did not bounce back okay stay consistent number one 100 percent. number two you absolutely need to be eating very well Okay, your body went through so much. Oh my God, it's so underrated how much women really do go through while pregnant. And this was my first kid. I did not know. People tell me this all the time. They're like, oh my God, your body's gonna change so much. You'll never get it back. You're gonna get stretch marks. You're gonna be huge. All this stuff. Like everybody always told me all the bad stuff. But then when you're actually like in it, you're like, wow, like this does kind of suck. Like this is not that fun like this is a beautiful experience and oh my gosh I would do it again but like wow I'm a different person I look different I feel different everything's leaking like just 
it's a lot and it's understandable so because of all the trauma your body has just gone through you need to be feeding it right you need to be feeding it nutritious food you need to be having vegetables you need to be having healthy pastas and good portions and lots of water and try to avoid really sugary stuff and really sugary drinks like girl i am a starbucks person i have had to change the stuff i order at starbucks like i used to be a frappuccino girl you cannot be a frappuccino girl and try and lose weight like it is so hard especially when you have my body type and you look at a cookie and you like gain weight somehow it's just it's not meant for us and that's okay you know some people can drink six frappuccinos and like they look like they lost weight somehow i don't know how but you know they do so number one absolutely stay really really consistent with whatever your workouts you are doing i promise you i promise you i promise you i promise you you will lose the weight i am an example of that you will lose the weight i've done home workouts i've done in uh at the gym workouts i've done both okay I've done both, so I can actually tell you that both will shed the fat off your body, okay? If you are trying to get rid of it. If you're not trying to get rid of it, girl, good for you! Good for you. But me, I absolutely <laughs> was like, yo, I want to feel like me again. I want to feel like me, and I think that's really important. Once you have a baby, you need to be able to feel like yourself again. And if you don't, work on it. Work on it. Like, why would you not want to feel like yourself? That's, that's not good. You know, like, you want to feel like yourself. You want to feel beautiful. You want to feel good in your skin. You want to feel confident. So, and if you want to do all those things, girl, work on you. Work on you. Because I promise you, it's going to make you feel so good. You're going to start feeling yourself. And then once you start feeling yourself, it is a different story, okay? I'm so happy. I've lost 50 pounds. 50 pounds and I I used to look at the scale and I was like I'm never gonna lose this weight I'm gonna be this heavy for the rest of my life I can't believe I gained 60 pounds like I just I like victimized myself I was like oh my god like you did this to yourself you gained all this weight maybe you didn't eat as well as you did and I just started blaming myself and attacking myself and ripping myself apart but like that really did nothing for me like I really had to sit down and be like you're gonna go to the gym you're gonna go work out at home you're gonna move your body in whatever way shape or form you just gotta move the body okay move the body and you're gonna eat really well because you need to as a new mom it is not easy it is hard you're not alone because you're not you're not alone everybody's going through some sort of postpartum whatever it is either it's postpartum depression which that that's gonna be another video because that's gonna be another video um so stay tuned for that one but as far as postpartum and pregnancy weight gain you will lose it you will lose it you will be fine you will be able to take care of yourself again you will have to make that time though so it's staying consistent it's eating healthy and then you have to really number three you have to make the choice to do number one and two because number three there's no point in you doing number three making the time and then you're scrolling your phone not doing what you're supposed to be doing eating well meal prepping ordering delicious foods that are healthy because you you don't have to meal prep if you don't want to meal prep but if you're interested in meal prepping, I do have some recipes that I posted on my page here. So you guys be sure to check that out. Okay, I'll link some of that stuff in my description so you guys can check out those videos. But you could also just go to my page and they're all on there. I've got a whole playlist as well for kids meals and then for adults meals. Stuff that has helped me lost weight and stay consistent. And that actually tastes good, okay? Because it really does suck when you're trying to lose weight and you're like, well, I don't even like these foods. Just no portion is everything. You can enjoy savory, delicious meatballs, just portion it. Because meatballs aren't the healthiest thing in the world, but you can make them healthy and you can have smaller portions that make you feel full and make you feel good and help you reach your goals, okay? That's really important. I wish I could tell you guys that there was some sort of magical trick that I did to lose 50 pounds since having my son. I gained 60, I've lost 50, in a year and a half and I'm really proud of that and if you've lost even 10 pounds in essence after having a baby good for you because you know what it's not easy it is really hard and sometimes you feel like everyone on social media 
makes it look really easy, but it's not. Some people, their genetics are just phenomenal, okay? Some people's genetics are phenomenal. My genetics are not phenomenal. No, 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 no. I have been sweating my butt off in the gym. I have been eating so clean. I have been consistent and I have given myself lots and lots and lots of time. Those are four things. Lots and lots and lots of time to work on that stuff. And I know not everybody has that time. You may be a stay-at-home mom. You may be a working mom. You may be juggling a million things. You may be a single parent. Whatever the case is, for me, it was all about getting a gym membership if you're going to go the gym route here. If you're going to go the gym route, get a gym membership that has a kids club and check out the kids club before you sign up for that gym. Because what if you hate it? You're a new mom. Or let's just say you're just a mom, period. You don't have to be a new mom. I'm just a new mom, so I'm sharing my experience about my new mom experience. But as a new mom and I'm any other parent, really, you want to know where you're dropping off your kid at the gym, at a daycare, whatever it is. I checked out multiple gyms with my husband while I was pregnant and checked out their nursery areas and I checked out their play areas and their outside areas and everything. And I wanted to see everything it offered. Did they offer classes for kids in the future when my son gets older? Like, I looked into everything because I was like, look, I have always been a gym person. And I don't want that to stop just because I now have a little boy. I'm going to take my little boy. He's going to make friends with all the other little kids whose parents bring them to the gym because they're going to get their health and fitness on. And that's, you got to do that stuff. It's important. But if you're gonna go the gym route, definitely look into the kids clubs at the gyms because you don't want to feel uncomfortable. It took me like a couple gyms tours to really be like, this is the one. This is the one and this is where I wanna put our son and this is where I'll feel comfortable putting our son. I put him in at six weeks old. Six weeks old because postpartum, six week appointment, I was like, I am in the gym. You don't need to do that. I rushed it 100% and I wish I didn't rush it because I went in and I started running. Like I didn't just have a baby six weeks ago. Like I didn't just go through a traumatic birth. Like I didn't just experience all of the body changes that have happened in the last year. Like insane, do not do that, okay? Do not hop on a treadmill and start running a 5K because I've always ran a 5K multiple times a week. I thought I could do it again and I did, but it definitely hindered my healing process. Like I messed myself up. I messed myself up. I tried too hard. I didn't realize that I had ab separation and I needed to fix that and I needed to heal that and I needed to work on that. Like I didn't know anything. I was a new mom. I felt very delusional. I was just kind of doing what I wanted to do because I was like, I want to look like me again. You can't do that, okay? You can't rush into things like ease into it mama ease into it i don't care if this is your first baby your fifth baby ease into getting back to your normal self you know it's like i was pregnant it was a beautiful experience but now you know you want to feel like you again and that takes time i'm at almost my son is almost two years old and i'm like wow i'm now starting to feel like myself just a little bit because breastfeeding, I did not feel like myself and I breastfed him for 10 months. For 10 months. And I did not feel like myself in that time frame. I just felt like a machine. I was pumping. I was working. I had to be in the office. I had to pump all in the office. And then sometimes I'm like, I don't even want to pump in the office. And then you skip a pump. It was just complicated, okay? We got to make another video about that one too before this one gets way too long. So definitely stay tuned for that one as well because we're going to talk about working moms and breastfeeding and pumping and all the stuff that comes with that because that is a journey on its own. When it comes to gaining weight during your pregnancy and you losing it, you will lose it, okay? You will lose it. Do not give up on yourself. Stay consistent. Go to the gym. Eat really well. Make time for yourself. Get a gym that allows you to have that allows you to drop off your kid for however long. My gym will watch my son for two and a half hours. I never really use the two and a half hour time. At most, I'll do like two hours. Like, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna bring all my gym stuff. I'm gonna shower here. I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna hit the sauna. Like, I'm gonna have a full-blown session because I deserve it. 
it's two hours. Two hours. Give yourself two hours. Even if it's not two hours, 30 minutes. Do a home workout for 30 minutes. Do not feel like you have to gain whatever weight your doctor tells you that you have to stay in this certain range. Because my doctor was like, okay, you're like 5'2", you're 126 pounds starting. Um, try not to gain any more than like 25 to 30 pounds tops. The second I hit 20 pounds at like maybe like four months pregnant, I was freaking out freaking out and then you just feel really bad about yourself so i'm just here to tell you that don't worry about what the doctor always says as long as you're healthy i wouldn't worry about it i wouldn't worry about it like i used to get so upset and my doctor would see that i would get upset and she's like nadia don't worry like you're healthy you're fine you're eating good you passed all your tests baby is great heartbeats looking amazing you got a strong little boy well she didn't tell me I had a strong little boy. I can say she probably thought that I had a strong little boy because she knew what the gender was. I waited until um, my son was born to find out if it was a boy or a girl, which was very exciting, and it was a boy. Um, but, you know, she probably in her head was like, oh, you have a strong little boy. Like, don't worry about it. Like, you're going to be fine. But don't worry about staying in a specific range. Like that is so stressful. Being pregnant is already so stressful. Do not stress yourself out even more by being like, I can only gain 30 pounds because I did that. I did that six months of my pregnancy. That's more than half. And it was sad, like it was sad. Like I wish I didn't do that. Like if I could go back and redo that pregnancy, I'd be like, wow, like don't worry about your weight. You're eating good. You're sleeping well. You're taking care of yourself. You're moving your body. I worked out my whole pregnancy. I worked my whole pregnancy. I got up, went to the office every single day. My last day in the office, I was in a meeting with my boss and I was like, hey, um, I think I'm having contractions. And he's like, do you wanna go home? And I'm like, no, I think I'm okay. The second I got home, full blown labor, like full blown, I'm about to have a baby. I felt like I was gonna die. It was that that is a story that I will have to share another day. But do not worry about pregnancy weight gain. Be healthy, move your body, nourish your body with good foods, and just let your body do what it wants to do. If your body's gonna gain 60 pounds, it's gonna gain 60 pounds like mine did. I didn't eat junk food like that and I gained 60 pounds and it is what it is. I was upset by it. And that's why I'm telling you guys that it's okay to be upset, but don't let it dictate how you're gonna move forward. Don't let it do that. Like, once I had my son, I was like, all right, it's game time. Let's get our bodies moving. Let's eat some good food. Let's give yourself some time to work on those two things because it is time consuming. And you sometimes you don't have the time. Sometimes you're just sitting there with your newborn baby like, oh man. But make that time. It's so important. You've got to make that time, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that me sharing a little bit of my story was a little helpful to some of you and I hope to hear about some of your guys' stories in the comments. I would love to hear some of them. Maybe make a video. Tag me in it. I'd love to see it. Um, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Just know that you're beautiful. You made a beautiful little baby and that kid is the luckiest kid in the world. And whatever weight you gain, you will lose and it will be okay. And I am a prime example of that. 60 pounds, down 50, down 50, okay? And you can do it too. <laughs> Goodbye! I wish you